Very good morning, dear learners. How are you? I hope you all are safe and fine at your places. And I must believe that your learning process is going on at right. So let's begin with the last topic of today's chapter. And you all know that we are going on with unit number five. The name of our unit is children. And woman in the schools, in the schools. So, when we are dealing here, we need to understand a very important concept. That important concept is children and women in schools. So, right now, we will be dealing with women. As you all know, that it is part 12, right? In this part, will be able to understand what is the participation of women in sports. Will also be understand what are the challenges facing by the females. Will be able to understand what is osteoporosis. Will be able to understand what is amenorrhea. Will be able to understand about the various problems which are facing by females in the modern society or in the earlier time too. So basically, our today's topic is sports participation of women. When we talk about the participation of women, generally they are criticized and categorized to do the household work. In the earlier time, in the ancient time, females are made to do the household work, to grow up their children, and so many things which are related to the household work. But the scenario changed. When let's talk about the ancient Olympic Games. Okay? So we are going to begin with the ancient Olympic Games. When this ancient Olympic Games was started, it was started in Greece and the date was 776 BC. On that time, it was started in Athens, Greece. On that time, there was the participation of women who were not allowed. On that time, the Olympics was of five days and these days in a precise order. On the first day, the Various rituals were performed by the priest. On the second day, the amphibian games are there. On the third day, divers, footprints, hoogies, these all games were there. On the next day, various kind of, you know, some jump, uh, jumping, running, throwing, mixture kind of combination of these events are taking place. On the last day, on that time, there's a closing ceremony. And the heroes like Hallmark, Atlas, these are the name of some athletes. This is the late name of the you know, this great heroes of that time, the players. So they will be awarded on that time. Crown of olive were made for them, and pages were saved, pages were flown so that the names can be carried out for the countries of the people. So this is this kind of uh, this ancient Olympic games on that time the participation of women were not allowed. On that time, the it was actually the ancient Olympic games were banned by the Roman Emperor Theodorus, right? In 1394 AD. So after that the modern Olympic Games started and the modern Olympic Games is started by the Rome Fairy de Coverty. Varun Peri Dhirubhati is supposed to be the founder of modern Olympics. He himself desired Olympic flag. He himself desired Olympic motto. What does the Olympic flag consist of? The Olympic flag consists of five rings. These rings are interlinked with each other with white background. These rings show the different continents and a supporting attitude of different continents too. The motto of the Olympics, that is the modern Olympics, is Cetius Elgius Foster. Cetius Elgius, what is? Strongest, highest, fastest. In the same way, the first time the torch was also seminized in 1920, and according to Romanian tradition, the flag was designed in 1913. First time it was flown in 1920 in Amsterdam Olympics. Okay, so while we have learned about the ancient Olympic Games and its modern Olympic Games, we will just only do this thing to understand that what is the need of this modern Olympics. When this modern Olympics begin, 
the participation of homies also begin, right? In from starting of the model of this, the participation of homies is also allowed. Now the parts of the homies can participate, they can show their potential, they can also bring their life, their career, and dance of the school self-education. Right? So Women are not only for doing household work as we all figured in this 21st century and those who want to do anything they can definitely, definitely go for that, right? Let's begin to start up this. On the early hand, women have some household work as well as they have some life goals. But their goals were forced to engulfed by some of the reasons. While doing parenting, while doing household work, so they were not able to achieve the goal of their life. But sometimes, slowly, slowly, the process change. When the modern objects come with a very healthy community, the situations change. Feeling that we feel it's a town, it consists of eating disorder, osteoporosis, amenorrhea. Now we need to understand what is this eating disorder. Eating disorder, it means it's of two types basically, bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa. Bulimia nervosa is a problem when an individual, a female especially as a male, consumes a lot of food and start vomiting to avoid calories. If we talk about anorexia nervosa, so anorexia is a problem when an individual not consume proper calories for the proper functioning of the body. Because he or she has a thinking in the mind that he might be, he or she, she might be, become obese. So that's a problem. Osteoporosis again, there is a problem in the bones, amenorrhea, that is the calcium deposition, and so many things. Basically, we need to understand that we will have to face a lot of problems. As we talk about enshiva, is the participation of this is not allowed. In enshiva, this is enshiva of the video five days, the video of the the first day, the opening is here, the second day, the So it's become a very, very important thing and it's need to understand 
that on that time, 41% uh, of uh, the population of women had participated. So it's exactly a great indeed that yeah, definitely the people are doing good. So London Olympics, 41% of people started to participate. Next is Rio Olympics. If we talk about 2016 Rio Olympic, which was in Brazil, so on that time, 45.2% are female and others are male. So it becomes uh, an equal, equal, we must uh, understand, a kind of competition by females as well as women. So uh, it's clear that this uh, women participation is definitely, participation of women in games and sports is definitely increased. And it increases the temperament and so many things too. So, London Olympics was in for the 41 percent and the participation. And if we talk about the Rio Olympics, rather low, this figure 45.2 percent. Now, if we talk about the ways government policies, so definitely a lot of government policies are there, which can definitely help the people. For uh, definitely help the people as well as the women, especially women. There is a lot of government policies which helps the women. Uh, diet related things. If we talk uh, in simple, if we talk about this, uh, what you say is Kelo India. So, as you all know, that if the player is selected in Kelo India, so for eight years, per annum, five degrees are sanctioned for the health and so many trainings and so many things for that. So, if Kelo India is providing such a great help, definitely the government is doing great in terms of educating, in terms of financing the potential of homes. Right? So, uh, we can talk about the various uh, achievements or some famous uh, tycoons like Larry uh, Tom, like P.T. Kusha, like Sani Nahal, like P.V. Sindhu, Sakshi Malik, Anju Bobby, Chuala Gurda, Gita, and Ms. Manji Kaur. So, these are some tycoons, there's some famous women that had done a great job. Basically, many more people are there as well. But these are some names which definitely enhancing the glory of the sports when we talk about women's women's participation in sports has a longer history. It has been understood that men is for the market and women is for only work. Is it so? No, I don't think so that in the 21st century we should do this. Because women is not only for doing homework. It means a family work and men's for market. Now the scenario change. In its history marked by dividing and discrimination, but also one field with a major accomplishment by a female athlete. Women were often preferred as being too weak for sports activity, and it was often argued in the past that sports are harmful to women's health. Particularly, particularly their reproductive health. In the ancient Olympics, women were not allowed to participate as I told you. But in the modern Olympics, games, females have an active member except in the first modern Olympic. And you, if you know, if you remember, the first modern Olympic was in 1896. But soon in 18, uh, 1916, the Amateur Athletic Union conducted the first women world championship in London. Later, International Olympic Committee IOC designed various and altered rules and regulations for the various games to encourage the participation of female athletes. The, the category of female and male are separate for all the games and sports. Today, the modern society has accepted women's participation in sports and competitions, and it has risen to a great extent. As compared to the past time, modern clinical studies have proven that physical activities benefited the health of women and it has also benefited the society up to a great extent. Today, the pattern of equality between men and women is so strange. According to IOC data, International Olympic Committee, 41% of females who participated in London Olympics and if we talk about 2016 Rio Olympics, it was 45.2% of all the athletes. These trends of women participation in sports has also improved the Indian society and thus the women participation in sports has increased. Currently, 
Sports for women represent fast-growing aging elements in Indian culture and recent trends of participation. And it definitely is part of the knowledge of female in sports. In the urban areas, female participation in sports is high, where it is less in the rural areas. Indian society should encourage their participation. Moreover, the government should have some policies, and definitely it has some policies which help this individual to accomplish their goal. Today, Indian society has recognized many Indian women which were playing as a role in model. Okay, so uh, this uh, participation of women is definitely uh, enhanced after this long time. Okay. Then uh, the practical schools for women is not given enough medical coverage. So uh, there are some problems which may uh, have uh, your, the females have faced, like uh, you know the lack of adequate legislations for gender equality, lack of time to dedicate their schools because they have a lot of household work. Masculine sports culture is there in India or various countries. Uh, it means for men, not for women, so it's not at all uh, right. But there is a problem that the females are facing. Lack of confidence, sometimes encouragement, sometimes motivation. Sometimes lack of in interest because they'll have to live a healthier and happier life then. And they'll have to go to meet the daily needs also. Lack of fitness, wellness movements. Fewer number of women coaches are there. Lack of coaching, lack of you know sports coaches are there. Are female, and there may be a lot of uh, problem while conducting this kind of you know, male athletes or male coaches for them. Lack of education among women. It may be a very very big uh, reason that there is a lack of knowledge, and there is a lack of education because uh, if we talk about the in ancient time, the females were not educated. And they were not only allowed to educate because uh, they think that they are only for uh, mean for the household work and main is for the market work, which was totally incorrect. I think so. So the lack of course and safety, lack of proper access and facilities, definitely these things help or uh, these things will definitely a great problem for the leaders. Now we need to understand the two different things. Now, what are these two different things? So, first point is menage, and second is menstrual dysfunction. Alright, so let's talk on this, let's understand the concept. Before we're going to start, we just uh, let's recapitulate. So, we had a study what is the sports participation of women, it's a final solution. Okay, it's a final solution of CDAC. So what do you need to go for? You just go uh, kind of a paragraph type or around 10 points. Okay? So you prepare 10 points on it. Solid 10 points. Must be prepared because the final question of our good exam. So each and every one should go for the best 5 points. It means up to 10 points you can take because see when we write 10 points out of 1 of the points are wrong. So we will uh, hold the check and we'll cut that point. Okay, if you have access, we can deduct anything, but if you don't write on uh, whatever it is and not go, so how will we check, right? Except uh, there should be something to be checked, okay? So prepare 10 points of this topic, sports participation in women in India. Definitely, directly this question, definitely come and elaborate sports participation of women in India. Highlight the sports participation of women in India. So you should have some data like, you know, uh, let's say about the women as for household work and men as for market. Few athletes are able to talk about ancient Olympics, we can talk about this IUC International Olympic Committee. Then you can throw some lights on uh, model on the event in 1916. The event model was started. It was the first time of Olympics that you threw a lot of parts, right? So the participation of women started, the categories were made by IUC International Olympic Committee. In London, Olympic, there were about 41% participation. In Rio Olympic, there were
symmetrical dysfunction it means irregular timings of periods second thing is abnormal bleeding third thing it is no bleeding lack of hormones right last point that you need to understand is menopause these are some biological terms so when i'm the post menstrual bleeding menstrual bleeding function it means the situation where there may be a normal bleeding there may be no bleeding or there may be excessive amount of problems that are uh, generated by cramps or so on this menstrual bleeding if you talk about menopause what is menopause so menopause is a stop of menstrual cycle the age is 45 so after 45 years generally you will see menopause occur okay so what i was saying to you and i would like to explain exactly is about menopause okay so we have studied this two term first is menarch second is menstrual dysfunction and third is menopause so menarch is the beginning of menstrual cycle or we may call it as first menstrual bleed menarch shows the girl transition into woman okay so when this menarch begins a girl transitions into woman it is a sign of growing up for her and becoming a woman it is often considered the central event of female puberty as it is a signal for possibility of fertility girl experiences menarch from 10 to 15 years of age right so if you consider from 12 to 10 or if you can consider from 10 to 15 so in exam the question comes so after 10 it is like right so 10 to 15 years may be considered uh, in terms of uh, this first menstrual bleeding in the mcq it might be asked you guys it the various female due to the biological genetical environmental and nutritional factor so this menstrual cycle de depends definitely on first is biological factor second is genetic factor third is environmental factor and definitely fourth is nutritional factor after the onset of menarche the female experiences series of physiological and anatomical changes like when a person attempts to body like uh, attainment of sufficient body mass secretion of estrogen by the ovaries so uh, what is estrogen estrogen is a hormone secreted in the ovaries like in female testosterone or like in males okay so if we talk about male so male uh, the reproductive the, that is the sperm testosterone is there if we talk about female so female the hormone is estrogen right we need to understand this topic uh, in male is the testosterone testosterone right in females estrogen so these are two hormones which started to secrete when this puberty started right this to keep in your mind this topic is very important so uh, this enlargement in the breast height wide and pelvic region growing of pubic hairs increasing adipose tissue etc these all events take place now we need to understand what is the causes of menarche increase incident of childhood obesity low birth weight early menarche i am talking about okay why is early menarche sometimes occur lack of exercise and adequate diet family or conflicts causing stress over girl smoking this also also need some problem so during menstrual cycle the normal physiological and anatomical phases in females research has proved that female participating in moderate physical activity without any complication where heavy training schedule physical activity should be practiced with caring professional cleanliness hygiene factors if complications arise due to menarche due to physical activity female should consult their gynecologist or doctor right now what is menstrual dysfunction as we have already studied the menstrual dysfunctioning is 
the regular condition of women's menstrual cycle right so if the menstrual cycle is irregular if the menstrual dysfunction is there it means there may be abnormal bleeding or there may be an absence of bleeding so as you all know that menstrual cycle the time period is 22 to 35 days okay and it is the flow is last for 3 to 7 days okay so we need to understand what is the uh, cycle time the cycle the menstrual cycle right this menstrual cycle is from 24 to 35 days it begins okay every after 24 to 35 days next the flow of blood is last for 3 to 7 days okay so here we need to understand that how complicated uh, operations are there while participating and so many things we need to understand here right now let's talk on the next term that is the female athlete triad okay so when we talk about female athlete triad first is eating disorder okay second is osteoporosis and third is amenorrhea Alright, so let me grab it and let's start it. So, uh, when we are talking about this female, let me Basically, three points are here to understand. First is eating disorder. Right? Third is amenorrhea. Fourth is osteoporosis. So, uh, these three problems are being faced by the females in the female and child. Some serious problems, which uh, may be a very complicated ones. If we talk about this female and female child, first is eating disorder. Now, see, uh, we are talking about the females who participate in a long in a various types of physical exercise, right? So, eating disorder, taking off food, they take off food is not problem. So, basically, first thing is bulimia. Nervosa. Second thing is anorexia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa. When we talk about this bullying and also the female actually consume more food and they start vomiting after eating. But just because she wants to look slim and trim. So, they have not control over their diet, they consume a lot of food. Bulimia, B for bulimia, B for ophelia. So, right? So, we need to understand here that ki bulimia, which is very much in the way, is very much in the way. Then, you can see your diet, your body, 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 self vomiting look say, say for example this two fingers put inside and vomit kar dena next is anorexia nervosa anorexia nervosa these are bad females who don't want to take calories because they think that if they take calories so they will be uh, the triggers will be different which means their body structure will be different lot of fat deposited so anorexia nervosa we need to understand ki bachchi jo hai jo female athlete hai wo itni calories lehi nahi hai ki uska jeevan nirbah ho sakte definitely there will be problem so, anorexia, I think this one consists of two things, bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa. When we are talking about amenorrhea, lack of estrogen, lack of estrogen and progesterone, this lead to disturbance in menstrual cycle. Right? So, amenorrhea is a problem when there is a lack of estrogen in the body due to the extensive workout or the lack of nutrients, genetic factors. So, lack of estrogen hormone, lack of estrogen hormone leads to amenorrhea. If we talk about this 
osteoporosis and osteoporosis lack of calcium in bones lack of calcium in bones lead to osteoporosis right so we need to understand the that sports participation we understood this topic we understood this female athlete trial we understood what is menarche so menarche is the first menstrual bleeding what is menopause menopause is the stopping of the female menstrual cycle it is after 45 years the menarche begins to train for 15 years what is menstrual dysfunction so due to some psychological uh, physiological menarche uh, some uh, time related some genetic problem this uh, what is a uh, variation in the menstrual cycle or disturbance in the menstrual cycle are having already lead to this this functioning of menstrual cycle three times the four term is fat female and the thyroid which is of three types it increases the amino acid and osteoporosis okay so when you are learning or when you are reading this three terms it is disorder is consistent with the mean and the it means it is consuming a lot of food anorexia nervosa Consuming less diet when the body required. If you talk about this amenorrhea, right? So what amenorrhea is? In the case uh, amenorrhea, a case of delay in menarche or a case of absence of menstrual period for six months. For more after the last period of amenorrhea, sometimes they be absent for a year. There is a host. For this amenorrhea, such as intensive exercise, on a regular basis, eating disorder, hormonal changes, medication, low body weight, high stress level, okay, illness, and so many things. In some cases, menarche may not begin even by the age of eighteen or above. This is amenorrhea, right? A menstrual period accompanied by the sharp pain and cramps in the lower abdomen and the pelvic region. This amenorrhea during the menstrual Menstruation. The muscles are the reverse contact with the leaves of the mantle to form prostaglandins and other inflammatory substances. So basically, when we are learning about this thing, so we need to understand amenorrhea, osteoporosis. These are some definitely a problem. Okay. So bulimia nervosa will occur so when the people start consuming the excessive amount of food. And uh, in these disorders, the eating of a person consumes large amount of food rapidly, and followed by the purging. It may, you know, by low self-esteem, depression, mental illness, etc. If we talk about anorexia nervosa, in this disorder, it's characterized by food restriction or fear of gaining weight. So they started not to consume any good amount of diet, and definitely it will be a problem for them. Okay. Second trait factor. Is a mean of you know, as we all know, it's a lack of estrogen. So in the second female athlete, intensive exercise, not eating enough calories, never the hormone level decrease, cause varied menstrual cycle. In this, cessation of this uh, menstrual cycle is more than for three months. The last topic of today's session is osteoporosis. If we talk about osteoporosis, it's a weakening of bones due to the loss of bone density, improper bone formation. These conditions decline the performance and lead to the bone injury. Estrogen is lower in females, right? The low level of estrogen and the poor nutrition in our diet lead to the lack of calcium, especially in the bones, called osteoporosis. What are the symptoms of osteoporosis? Irregular menstrual cycles, sensitivity to cold, anemia, increasing injury, heart rate, blood pressure, these all. The causes are lack of calcium in diet, amenorrhea. Eating disorder, poor nutrition, sedentary lifestyle, thyroid problem, lack of vitamin D, hormonal imbalance, and less protein diet. So many things. Female, the treatment is uh, the treatment of the female in the trial consists of immediate consultation with the gynecologist or expert doctor, take a nutritional diet, well balanced diet, reduce exercise, counseling. Take food supplements, minerals, and behavior therapy, which is very important. So this was about this is the last lecture, and this was all about this children and women in schools. I hope this part is clear to everyone about this bones, about this fat, and the female ethnic trend. Right. So with this, I hope you understand this topic properly. So take care, bye bye. We'll definitely need some. I I just have a request for everyone. Please prepare this topic. This is a five marks question. Prepare ten points out of it. Right. You can add here you know, the ratio of uh, females. Some uh, ratio that we have mentioned here. You can also uh, explain menarche, menstrual dysfunction, menopause. You can cite something about female as a trait here also. Okay. So these are some points. Uh, Which are very important to uh, note here because the five marks question and definitely impact.
capitalism. Okay, so with this take care. Bye bye. We'll meet soon for the next lecture.